brought to you by GTA. We start with you. The governor has made it clear she wants to build a new hospital and plans to set aside $300 million from the $661 million in American Rescue Plan funding. According to Hospital Administrator Lillian Posadas, the Hospital Planning Task Force will be convening either this week or next week to continue discussions. With the task force on, uh, you know, first we need to, to really come together and do a, a feasibility study what this hospital is going to look like, what the bed capacity, how many beds, what kinds of services are we going to provide in this hospital, inpatient, outpatient, you know, and also preparing for possibly another pandemic. Posadas admits the $300 million for a new hospital isn't enough. Matter of fact, according to the April 2020 report issued by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the construction of a new facility with current building codes and hospital accreditation criteria would come at a price tag of $743 million, including $21 million to support reaccreditation. According to Army Corps of Engineers assessment, GMH will require $21 million immediately for repairs to support the reaccreditation of the facility and eliminate hazards to life, health and safety. The repairs consist of roof replacement, exterior building repairs, HVAC repairs, life safety repairs and fire sprinkler repairs. According to Posada, she and her team are working on reaccreditation but are deciding whether they should stick with a joint commission. There are other accrediting organizations and so we're going to be reviewing and comparing which one will be the most cost beneficial for GMH for Guam? Uh, because the Joint Commission uh, accrediting organization, they're quite pricey. You know, they charge a lot uh, of money. And so we're going to try and see which organization, accrediting organization, is also at the level of the CMN standards of uh, conditions of participation. GMH lost accreditation in July 2018. As for a new hospital facility, the governor is working with the Department of Defense to build it on excess federal land, possibly at Eagles Field in Mingilao.